Hi and welcome! My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video we're going to look at how to use cut, copy, and paste between individual worksheets as well as between individual workbooks. So it's going to be a bit of a review from what we covered in the last video, but we want to focus on doing this for multiple worksheets. So join us in this video and let's get started. If you want to follow along, go ahead and open up exercise file 09.04. Alright, so the majority of the strategies we used in the last video of cut, copy, and paste will work when you want to paste information either between worksheets or between workbooks. So in order to demonstrate this, let's create a new worksheet by clicking this icon here. And if we want to cut something, we could either right click and say cut. We could come up here to our quick access toolbar. We could come to our home tab and then go to cut or we could use the keyboard shortcut control X. Going to the second worksheet, we could then press control V and it would automatically cut that information. Same thing is with copy. So pretty straightforward. You can right click, go to copy, or you can come up here, go to copy. You can go to here, copy or control C, and then you can paste it between, uh, between worksheets. Now, this might not be a surprise, but if you were to create a new workbook with something like control N, and you wanted to take this information, maybe change the color. Take this information. I'm snapping my window by pressing the Windows key and the left arrow, and then Windows key and the left arrow. So now I have these two worksheets that are side by side. If you do control V, well, first we, I guess we would have to select this information. Let's cut it with control X and then control V or copy this with control C and then come over here and paste it into control V. So um, the reason that we're bringing this up is because when I was first learning Microsoft Excel, I didn't realize that you could cut, copy and paste things from one worksheet to another worksheet or from one workbook to another workbook. So I would often like recreate the data and I wasted a lot of time. So I imagine many of you, if not all of you, are already kind of much more advanced at Excel than I was when I was first learning, but um, I thought it would be a shame if if we talked about cut, copy and paste and there was anyone who was like me and thought it could only be done in the same worksheet. So that in essence is this specific video. Now, one cool thing that we'll talk about in the next video is the idea of paste special. So paste special will allow you to go ahead and paste more than say just formatting. But even if we had say, some data, so let's say we had some data here, data, well, okay, I'll show you a cool keyboard shortcut. So if you want to input data into a large amount of cells, you could select those cells and then you, you would essentially type whatever you want in the first cell. So we'll just type the number 10 and then rather than press enter, like we just did there, you would go into that first cell, type the number 10, and then rather than just press enter, you press control enter, and it would automatically insert whatever you just typed into all those cells. So if we were to say type data, and then press control enter, it would put data into all of those cells. So this is a, a keyboard trick that I use a lot just to ent enter and input dummy data, right? So anyway, we go up here and let's maximize this again. If you go to copy, you can copy as a picture or you can copy. So if we were to copy this, um, as we'll talk about in the next lesson, you could, um, you could paste it either as data or just maybe we'll just paste the formatting. Um, I'm not sure which one it would be. I think it would be this one or maybe not. Anyway, when we go to paste special, we'll just go to paste the formats and then it would look like that. But if you wanted to, you could actually copy something as a picture. So you would go here and copy as a picture. Um, and then you'd have a choice of whether you want it shown a screen or shown when printed. And you could either do a picture or bitmap. We'll just leave these as a default um, item. And then you can say paste that um, paste that picture into Excel or paste that picture into something like PowerPoint. So then when we you just create a new slide, 
and then paste that picture in. Um, clearly it's not quite large enough, but um, that's a great alternative than having to go ahead and just copy it as a, as a reactive uh, Excel file or an embedded Excel file. So anyway, that might have been a bit of a detour. I apologize, but we wanted to cover in this lesson the idea of cut, copy, and paste, and how you can do that between sheets or between workbooks. So in any case, in the next video, we'll go ahead and we'll look at using Paste Special for pasting more than just formatting. So join us for that in the next video, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.